Now, what we do is we encourage the ball hawk. And people get, you know, like a cringe response. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Well, that's how development works. We have to be selfish. The reason, the real reason why we criticize the ball hog is because we want our child to have the ball. So let's say I'm a parent on the opposite team playing against a Legends team. I can't stand the Legends team because they have 80% of the possession because they can do moves and keep the ball until they want to make a good pass so they don't ever have to kick the ball. So, you know, I'm really frustrated because while they have possession, my kid doesn't have it. Now, what we do is we encourage the ball hog. But we also realize that there are certain things that in the history of the game that ball hogs have done that are not good for their own development because the amount of skills they're trying to conquer are too one. So spreading yourself too thin does not work. So what we've done is we've identified six moves and those moves have been identified in order to give our players a fantastic, best in the world opportunity to beat a player that is behind your shoulder, maybe to your side, maybe at a 45 degree angle to you, maybe in front of you. We have six fantastic moves that we work to death to give them the opportunity to beat an opponent in every situation. Come out on your strong foot and bury the ball.